Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I filmed a Valentine's Day makeup look. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Look at this look, you guys. I filmed this Valentine's Day makeup look. You guys know Valentine's Day is right around the corner. So I guess I'm gonna consider this like my new 2020 Valentine's Day makeup look. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Before I get started, I do wanna talk about my Teamy Blends Tumblr cup. Um, if you guys have watched my tea video, you guys know that Teamy Blend sent me their loose leaf tea and their cup to try out. I really wasn't a huge fan of their loose leaf tea, so I wasn't drinking it. But I did find many ways to use their cup. Oh my goodness, I really like this cup. So right now in this cup, I have water and lemon. Um, I really like how this cup has a strainer. So if you guys like drink loose leaf tea, infused fruit water, um loose leaf tea infused fruit water detox water this cup is definitely a great cup to use for that because the strainer blocks all the particles from getting in your mouth i also like how you can use this cup as a to-go container as well so for example i eat oranges with salt it has a little compartment right here i can put my salt in and then i can put my oranges right here in this container and take it with me i know that's weird a lot of people think eating oranges with salt is weird but you have to try it don't knock it until you try it i will leave a discount code if you guys want to check out their website I try out their loose leaf tea or even just buy their cup and also I will leave all of the products I used in this video to create this look and if you guys have any questions any comments let me know in the comment section don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel let's get into the video because this intro is way too long <laughs> okay so I'm just gonna show you guys how I got this look on this eye what I have as a base is this P. Louise base in the shade 5. I'm actually going to put a little bit more on my eyelids because as you guys can see, it's creasing. You see that crease line and I want to get rid of that. So I'm just going to add some more. I feel like I could have went a shade darker in this base, but I really like it. I like how it makes my eyeshadow colors more pigmented and everything. So I'm just going to put a little bit that much a little goes a really long way now I'm taking this flat brush this flat brush is by elf and I'm just going to spread this concealer all throughout my eyelid but I'm focusing it mainly on the crease line Now I'm going to take my Real Techniques sponge. It is damp and I'm just going to blend this out some more. I didn't want to drag this base all the way up to my eyebrows because it's really hard to blend out, especially since this concealer is so light compared to my skin tone. It's hard to blend out when it gets to my eyebrows. When I did bring it all the way up to my eyebrows, I had to apply eyeshadow colors all the way up to here. And I really didn't like that look. So that's why I'm just trying to mainly focus it on my eyelid and not get too close to my eyebrow. So for this eye look today, y'all, I am only using one eyeshadow palette, which is the Huda Beauty Desert Dusk Palette. Y'all, I've had this palette for over a year and <laughs> I really haven't used it. The first color I'll be taking is this really dark brown right here. And I'm just going to focus that on the outer corner all throughout here. And I'm just taking an eyeshadow brush. This eyeshadow brush is by Real Techniques. It is their crease brush. What I'm going to do, I'm not going to dip this back into the palette. I'm just going to take this color and drag it this way a little bit. Drag it to my inner corner just a little bit. Now I'm going to take this Morphe 505 brush and I'm going to use the shade Amber and I'm just going to apply that on top of this color. I'm just taking this color, just applying it above. <laughs> and I'm also going to be dragging this color to my inner corner. Like that. 
I'm also using this brush to blend out the harsh lines. Just trying to make sure everything is evenly spread it out. Now I'm going to use my other brush. I'm going to go back into that dark brown and deepen this crease a little bit more. And you guys, you can repeat the steps as many times as you want. I am just trying to make sure I get the desired intensity. I just want to take advantage of these colors. I want the colors to really pop on my eyelid, which is why I keep rotating brushes and just making sure that it is blended out evenly. So what I'm going to do next, I'm going to use this flat brush that I use to apply that concealer, that base I used by P. Louise. I'm going to use this to kind of cut my crease. This look is not going to be like an intense cut crease as you guys can see, but I'm just going to use the remaining product on this brush to cut my crease because if I don't and I just add the other color I'm trying to add on it, I feel like it just is not as pigmented as I want it to be. And I'm going to stop midway because I'm only doing a half crease. The next color I'm going to take is this color right here. It's like a really light peach color. But I'm going to use this color to put on top of the concealer that I just placed on my eyelids. And I'm taking a flat brush to do so. Next shade I'm going to use is this color, focus, this color right here. I'm just going to put that on top of this color. I'm going to go back with this brush. This brush has that dark brown eyeshadow on it. So I'm just going to just clean it up a little bit. Get rid of all the extra glitter. I'm also going to make this transition the line where the glitter stops and where the dark shade is. I'm going to let it transition a little better. So what I'm doing is just swiping in the middle like that for a smoother transition. I'm just going to lightly line my lash line, clogging the pores so my lashes won't grow. Lashes I'm going to be wearing, they're by Tati Lashes. This is how it looks. This is in the style TL2. I'm going to apply this lash off camera so I can really see what I'm doing. And I will be right back. Oh, I'm also going to clean up my brow a little bit like I did this one. So what I use for my eyebrows, the main two things, I guess, the main two things that I use for my eyebrows, um, I use this MAC Shape and Shade Brow Tint Pen. I already showed you guys this in my other video, but just in case if you are new or, wow. If you are new and you haven't seen, or you just haven't seen my video, I use this first. This is the marker tip on the pen, and it just has tint powder. Put that on my eyebrows first, and then I took this felt point tip, and I created hair-like strokes on my eyebrows. So I only did that here, and now I'm about to really go in and fill in my eyebrows a little bit more. I'm back. <laughs> Okay, so now I'm about to go ahead and do the rest of my face. Please ignore my hair. My frontal is dying on me, but this hair looks really good, y'all. It's really my frontal is shriveling up and it's just dying on me, so that's why these pieces are sticking out because they're just really short. But I'm going to fix that in the end. Let's get into this face. Um, 
I'm sorry if my voice is really low. Well, I feel like it's normally low, but it's still pretty early. I'm still a little tired. Actually, I'm very hungry and yeah. What I'm going to do first, I'm going to take my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder in the shade Medium Deep. I say this in every video, I know, but I gotta say it just in case some of you guys are new. I'm going to take this with my Real Technique sponge, put this all over my face so that my face doesn't get extremely oily by the end of the day. Boom, 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 boom. Between my eyebrows especially. So lately I've been using my NYX Born to Glow foundation in the shade Walnut. I really, really like this foundation. I just love this. It's so light. It doesn't, it gives me a little, it gives me a little glow. Not like an oily glow, you know, not a greasy look. It gives me a nice glow. Like I just look so refreshed and radiant. I really love this foundation. So yeah, I'm just putting some of this foundation on this foundation brush and I'm going to put it all over my face. So I'm using the Maybelline A for Wine Concealer. This is in the shade Hazelnut. And I'm just using this to highlight my face. Now I'm going to take my Fenty Pro Filter Concealer in the shade 498. I'm going to use this as contour. So I'm actually just waiting for this to run out before I start getting into like buying contour products because I have a bad habit of buying a lot of things and not using it. So I'm really just waiting for this to, oh my lace is lifting. I'm waiting for this one to run out and then I'm going to buy, I'm going to buy another one. First I'm going to blend out my contour. So And whatever I have left over on this brush, I'm just using that to contour my forehead. Every time I add contour products or just try to contour my forehead by adding products, it always looks extremely harsh on my forehead. I'm probably just not doing it right. I don't know exactly where to place the contour at when it comes to my forehead. So maybe that's it. I'm going to get my nose. I'm going to take my Real Techniques damp sponge and I'm going to blend out my concealer. I'm just going to take the foundation brush I use and I'm just going to get rid of all of these harsh lines around my forehead right here. Just trying to blend the concealer and contour together more flawlessly. I'm going to use my Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder in the shade Deep along with this sponge again. To set the rest of my face, I'm going to be using my MAC Studio Fix Pressed Foundation Powder. Okay, I said that completely wrong. I'm going to be using the MAC Studio Fix Powder Plus Foundation in the shade NW58. And I'm going to take my powder brush by Real Techniques. And I'm just going to put this everywhere I did and apply that really light concealer. So like that
And then, now I'm taking my Fenty Beauty bronzer in the shade Mocha Mami, Mocha Mami, whatever you want to call it. And I'm just going to bronze up my cheeks a little bit. Now I'm using my Fenty Beauty highlighter, my freestyle highlighter. These two are in the shade Ginger Binge and Moscow Mule. I'm gonna be using Moscow Mule today to highlight my face. So I'm just taking my Morphe 504 brush and I'm just going to put some of this on. I'm actually going to put some of this highlighter right here on my brow bone. The next thing I'm going to be doing is using this NYX white eyeliner pencil and I'm going to try to line my waterline. Hopefully this comes out great. Before my camera cut off, um, I was saying I was going to use my NYX eyeliner pencil in the color white to outline my waterline. So I already did that. Okay, wow, this looks really cool. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is apply some mascara to my bottom lashes. I actually really like the white eyeliner underneath my eyes. What do you guys think about it? Let me know in the comments. So the next thing I'm going to do is my lips, what I'm doing, I'm taking my, so I'm taking my MAC lip pencil in the shade Chestnut, I'm just going to use that to line my lips, and then I'm going to go in with my MAC lipstick in the shade Double Shot. Now I'm taking this Morphe lip gloss. And I'm just going to put that on top of my lips. But I'm putting this lip gloss on my hand first and I'm going to use my finger to put it on my lips because I don't like putting lip gloss. I don't like using wands like this to put on top of my lips, especially when I have on lipstick already because then it changes the color of the gloss eventually. So I like to do it this way and I'm just going to... Mm -hmm. Here. So that completes the look. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!